everybody this is Rainy from Bubbles Bobbles and Bows and I'm here again for another soaping video for y'all um, I hope y'all liked the last one uh, like I said I'm just learning and I am it's I'm a work in progress and I thank everybody for the feedback that you gave me last time because um, it really helped me I've changed my view here a little bit um, so I'm hoping that this is a, a better view for you um, to see. So anyway, um, let's get this open. Um, first of all, I've already got my oils in here measured out. Um, this has olive oil, coconut oil, palm castor, and sweet almond oil. And I've already got my wa live water solution um, poured and ready. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my stick blender in here and just kind of break up some of the oils a little bit. I'm, I'm sorry about the, the stick blender being so loud, um, but you know, some people like the sound of that, so I don't want to leave those people out. You know, a little bit of ASMR, they like the sound of chips crunching under your feet or stick blenders so okay so I broke up my oils a little bit um, I am again using the um, uh, heat transfer method again today and that is using the lye and the temperature of the lye to melt all the oils instead of um, bringing everything down to room temperature so all right, so here's my lye, and I'm just going to pour it over my stick blender, I mean over my spatula, and so I don't have any splashing. Just kind of let it run down your spatula so it goes gently into the oil. Um, there, and remember from the last video, um, you want to make sure that your lye is clear and that all your um, lye crystals have been dissolved in the oil, in the water. Um, you do not want any free floating lye crystals um, in the oils. So, so it's just going to take a little bit uh, to melt this down a little bit. Break it up a little. And while that is doing that, um, melting, I'm just going to go over some of the things that I'm using in the soap today. Uh, again, the scent I'm using is Frosty the Snowman scent. Um, and it is from Rustic Essentials. Um, it says it doesn't have any vanilla in it vanilla in it so it shouldn't discolor the soap and that's what I'm hoping for it stays nice and white um, I'm just going to read you the description from Rustic Essentials they have wonderful fragrance oils I use in all my soaps um, let me read you what it says about it it says this fragrance oil is an exact duplication of what Frosty might have smelled like minty and woody fresh and clean crisp Christmas in a bottle winter mint crisp apples and earthy green sparkle amongst pine needles and cedar wood with a smooth base of sandalwood musk and amber so uh, i've never tried it before but it's i've got to get started making my christmas scents um, and my holiday scents so this is actually only the second scent that I've made uh, for the fall collection already. Um, one of them is already up on the Etsy site right now. Um, it is Caramelized Crimson Pear. Um, and it's ready to be um, sold. It's up in the shop. And if you go over there and you order a bunch of stuff, uh, it's free shipping. Everything in the store, Etsy shop, is free shipping. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be doing that. So if you want to get your holiday stuff and orders in and gifts, um, I suggest you go over there and do that. Um, 
and it will be delivered right to your door so um, it'll take you know about three to five days for me to get all the orders together and the supplies are limited um, I make everything in very small batches uh, five pound batches actually and they have to sit you know and cure out um, for uh, four to six weeks before you can even sell sell them um, actually the cure time the reason you let a bar of soap cure is because you want it to um, get harder and as hard as possible um, the water actually evaporates from the bar um, and the longer it cures the better bar of soap you have it, it mellows it out and it makes it very gentle on your skin and it just it makes a wonderful bar of soap so um, and depending on what kind of soap you're making or what your ingredients are you may have to let them uh, cure for a little bit longer um, but anyway all right that looks melted but i'm just going to stick in it a little bit just to make sure so burp it's called burping your stick blender and that's just so you can get all the air out from under the stick blender and it will help it from splashing and uh, you don't want a lot of air in your soap because it causes air bubbles so, so you just want to gently do it and you want to blend it to the point of emulsification um, uh, um, that means there's no uh, oils floating on top of the water. Um, I see a little bit more. You can kind of see it. So, there. And you want to blend it until you get to like a light trace before you add all your other items. Okay, so I am going to add a little bit of kaolin clay to my batch and I'm going to stick blend it and uh, this again will cause give you some slip in the bar it makes the lather creamy so. Okay, so now I'm just going to stop it. Okay, um, just had a little malfunction there. So sorry, but anyway, um, as you see, um, my oils have all been emulsified and we are at a trace right now. Uh, trace is when your oils kind of um, you're have emulsified with the um, lye in the water and it causes a little uh, string on top of your soap batter so um, I am going to split off some soap into two different containers um, and these are going I'm going to do a swirl today a two color swirl and it's going to be a drop swirl into a white base so um, and I'm just going to use a little bit of titanium dioxide that I've already mixed up just a couple of tablespoons of it going to stick in there a little bit because you want to make sure it's all okay. 
you want to make sure you get all your scrapey scrapey and get all your stuff off of your get all your sew better because you don't want to waste it it's good stuff so all right so now i'm going to add my fragrance oil i'm just going to divide it up I'm just going to hand blend it here. This will give me a little bit of time because, again, once again, I've never worked with this fragrance, so I'm not quite sure what to expect from it. So. Splashed it a little bit there. Um, and now I'm going to add the colorants. Um, I, there's two colorants I'm using. Um, the first colorant is Silver Fan Blue. And it's um, from Mad Micah's. It's a very pretty color um, of blue. Now, let me get that all out of there. And I've um, mixed this with some sweet almond oil. And uh, I have taken it from my uh, base oils. So, oh, it's so pretty. It's beautiful. So, a nice and snowy color. I want to make sure. Oh, being a splashy person today. Okay. Let's clean this up a little bit. All this mess on here, this messiness. Okay. Just gonna move this out of the way. Okay, and then oh, it's starting to get thick a little bit. And this one is um, Mad Micah's, and it is Blue Bling. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. And this will kind of loosen it up also. I hope these stay true. Colors stay true in here. Very pretty. bit of my white in first. It's kind of getting a little thick. see better now.
And these molds that I'm working with today are um, from Essential Depot and they are a silicone mold. Um, I have ordered some wooden soap molds for them to go in, um, but I have not received them yet. So, making do what I have. Okay, you want to make sure you get all your soap out of there. Pretty, pretty soap. of the colors in. It's kind of gotten thick on me. So, that's okay. Try to get it all out of here, but you know, once it gets starts getting thick, you got to kind of move pretty fast. kind of swirl it a little bit in there. It's really full. And make it look like a little storm going on. Kind of mix it up because it got really thick on me very quickly. Clean up the mold a little bit. Make it a little heat. Okay. Okay. I just want it to be a little smooth here. So. Sure it's even. Just move it out. Okay. So there it is. Um, so now I am going to go make the soap frosting and I will uh, be back shortly. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I saved you the boredom of watching me make the soap frosting. Um, it is a totally different recipe than my base soap. Uh, I have to, in order to make piping on top of your soap, you have to have a soap recipe that sets up pretty quick and that uh, gets really thick so you can put it in the piping bag. Um, it's actually a piping bag that you pipe icing with. Um, I have an uh, icing tip as well. Now I got this set um, from uh, the Royalty Soaps, uh, Katie, Royalty, at Royalty Soaps uh, set. It's a Royalty soap set is what it is. And it comes with these tips. It comes with um, some colorants. It comes with glitter. It comes with these piping bags as well. Um, and this is actually, uh, it, she usually uses a Tico. Let me see if I can see on here the tip on there. It's kind of hard to see. 
what it is um, but it's an Atico tip but it's the same thing that you use to pop on top of cupcakes and cakes um, I just use it to pop on top of soap so um, let me just see if my soap is uh, icing is thick enough to pipe and it is so here we go you just it's kind of satisfying to watch this it's like I wanted to kind of look like little mounds of snow kind of now this is something that um, only an experienced soap maker needs to do the piping um, like this because this is still soap in this bag and it is very caustic and it will eat your skin off of you um, if you get it on there I mean you you really need to have vinegar um, on hand which I do and anytime I soap I keep vinegar by my side so because you, you don't want it to get on you um, if, if you react pretty quickly you can get it off but you'll know if you got some if you have uh, if you have it on you because it'll start itching um, ask me how I know I just kind of want this to look like little mounds of so snow. Um, I'm not going to put any embeds on top of it today. Just because this was kind of a spur of the moment kind of video. So. And. Because I want to get another one up for you guys. So you can kind of see what's going on now some of you have been asking me um, about the soap making classes and when we're gonna start all that well I'm still if you haven't noticed already I'm still in the process of getting um, the rest of my shop up uh, and um, running uh, so I've still got a little bit left to do um, in the shop as far as some more counter space and and whatnot before I can do any of that you know it's got to be I want it to be um, you know a good experience for everybody that's coming to the soap class um, but until then I will be doing some online um, now as you know this is not a tutorial a tutorial which I can't honestly can't say that word either um but i will be doing some of them uh i'm just trying to get used to talking on the camera and and all that fun stuff you know it's not easy getting up here and, and doing all this and not even knowing what you're doing really is i mean as far as youtube camera video and all that so um it's all a learning experience so you put it in your bag just like you would icing and you work it back down and you want to make sure that it comes out because you don't want it and you sometimes get them anyway an air bubble Ooh, just like that and that's okay we'll just top it up a little bit there I make very high little soaps, so, but anyway, you get the gist of it. And I've got some soap stuff icing left, so I'll save that and put it in some a mold here in a little bit and take care of that. Alright, um, but since I'm not putting any embeds on it, I'm going to put some glitter on it. Um and uh two different colors um now my my icing is not colored um except for titanium dioxide and that is uh why it makes your soap white um it also helps with uh in scents that have vanilla in them they'll turn your soap brown a lot of the time um depending on the percentage of uh, vanilla in the scent uh, any most bakery scents a lot of those do that 
um, but anyway uh, I didn't put any coloring in here just for that reason um, and this doesn't have any vanilla in it but you never know what a, a scent is going to do so but I'm just going to put this on here this glitter and you'll see it and I usually have a it's a shaker um, that you can get um, at some, some of the supply companies um, I'll, one second let me get it over here and I'll tell you what the name of the company is it's a wonderful company um, one sec Um, the name of the company is Nurture Soap, and they sell these cute little sprayer things that you spray the glitter on, and they are cute. And see, um, you see how it just kind of goes on there. And this is also the company that has the Royalty Soap piping set. And um, Katie, I don't know her personally, but she is a wonderful soap maker. You can check her out at her um, YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. She's been around. She started her soap company, I think, when she was like 17 years old. And she was working out of her parents' garage. or I mean, she's got her whole story on there. Um, but it's pretty uh, inspiring for a 17-year-old girl to... I mean, she's got a big business now. And... Uh, it's pretty cool so but she's got her own little piping set and that she does um, her soaps with and she's inspired all of us here um, and we've been doing it now this glitter is um, sparkle me plenty uh, glitter and it is from they're called mad micas now but they used to be uh, mad oils so um, so, and this one is going to be Amy. Okay, um, and this. Okay, my camera's dying. Um, so I am going to, I put the glitter on and I will be back tomorrow and we'll show you what it looks like inside when we cut it. Okay, y'all have a good night. Bye.